me gusta andar con pelo suelto ok, maybe I should maybe I shouldn't have done that 6 o'clock in the morning and I haven't had my coffee ok, so right now we're gonna start off with prepping the skin now I will say that when it is colder outside then my skin tends to feel a little bit dry and tight and I'm sure we can all relate to that so what I'm gonna do is start off with uh, a moisturizer that's not so oil control since I do have oily skin and today I'm going to be using Jafra Royal Jelly so I already prepped my skin with that but the next thing I'm gonna go in with also by Jafra is the Time Dynamics um, eye cream there we go it's very important for me to moisturize under the eyes just applying that on so my ring fingers and we're just going to apply that right under the eye it's always very important to hydrate your lips so for me I always always use aquaphor and this isn't actually the one that you're supposed to put on your lips or that it's marketed for your lips this one actually says it's a healing ointment okay so it is says that it's for dry cracked or irritated skin well that's how bad my lips feel whenever I don't have anything on them so I always put that so today's lamp is gonna be a very soft lamp I never wear my, any makeup during the week but today I'm gonna wear some makeup. Yeah. So I always start off with uh, priming my eyes. I don't plan on doing any eyeshadow today since my eyelid color is naturally pretty dark. Looks like I have eyeshadow on already. So I'm only priming where I'm gonna be placing the eyebrow products. If you guys are interested in a eyebrow tutorial, I do have one of those already. So make sure to check that out. And if I have limited time, then I always make sure of three things, really. I make sure that my skin is nicely moisturized and I don't care if I get oily. I just need to make sure, especially during cold weather, that my skin is very hydrated. Uh, number two. I always make sure that my eyebrows look somewhat decent, especially when I'm in a rush. They can look obviously uneven. But uh, And then number three, flawless skin. I always make sure to concentrate on my skin. So like I said before, I'm going to skip the eyeshadow and go straight in with um, eyeliner. So for eyeliner, whenever I'm going for a softer, more everyday wearable look, I'll use the same product that I used on my eyebrows for my eyeliner. For me, um, I prefer to use my Ben Nye Media Eye Definer in the shade Espresso to create my wings. So first I'll extend the wing just drawing that straight line and then I'll start to build on it and work my way in. Wing liner for me guys is everything. I feel super naked without it. My eyes I feel look like possum eyes or something. I don't know. <laughs> the last thing I'll do is just stretch the eye some to make sure that I got every single crevice in there. To clean up those edges, concealer on a flat brush and straighten up those edges and those are our wings so now I'm gonna go in curl my lashes apply some mascara 
some falsies, and then we'll get into the base. So I'll be right back. So I forgot to mention that anytime you use the Ben Nye eye definers, you do need to set them with powder or they will smear. So being extra as I always am, and I can never just do a simple look, I decided to set the eyeshadow, I mean, sorry, the eyeliner with this beautiful shade from the Morphe palette. This again is the 35 color palette from Morphe. And so this shade is a little bit of a purple hue, purple, bronzy. Well, you guys will see. So I'm just picking that up on the angled brush and I'm going to apply that all along that lash line. But I'm not going to apply it to the wing. I'm only applying it to what's on my eyelid so much for a simple everyday wearable look right guys this is if you want to be extra like me the rest of the eye I'm going to set it with brown eyeshadow and I'm using Ben Nye Twilight Sable my trusty trusty Ben Nye Twilight Sable it's a perfect matte brown not warm so on the cool side let me get up close so you can see i'm gonna go straight in with my foundation and today i'm using the maybelline fit me not fit me the maybelline matte and poreless and i am in the shade 228 soft tan. I'm going to just buff that into the skin. Again, this is a soft glam look, so I'm not looking for major coverage. Okay, so with whatever's left on the foundation, I'm just dragging that down. Now that's done, we're going to go in and color correct using my LA Girl Orange Concealer. And placing that right up under my eyes. I'm just going to blend that in. So now I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I'm going to apply that right on top. The LA Girl Concealer is really good about drying. It dries pretty quickly. So whenever I put this on top, I don't have to worry about it, about disturbing that underneath it. So I'm just using a pushing patting motion because I do want coverage under the eyes. And if we were to swipe it around, then yes, you would definitely expose the orange. And I'm going to get right up in here because this area does seem to get dark. I mean, it is dark. And if we don't conceal that area, then it will cast a shadow. I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques contour brush. Picking up some RCMA translucent powder on my Real Techniques contour brush. I'm going to hold this in my hand while at the same time I'm patting away any creases because as soon as you look around and down, look up, whatever the case may be, our eyes are going to naturally crease. That's natural. There's no one in this world that doesn't have under eye crease. There's no one. Okay, so don't beat yourself up about your, your makeup creasing under your eyes. What you can do to prevent it is don't put as much product. So if you naturally do have some wrinkles there and you put a lot of powder or concealer, then yes, you're going to enhance them a lot more. I mean, unfortunately, I've had that happen to me on clients and that's the reason why I know. So it may look like you don't have any wrinkles without makeup, 
but the moment you start packing on that makeup with powders and concealer then yeah it's a it can make it can really mess up the whole makeup look so be cautious of how much makeup you put under your eyes I'm gonna stay straight looking straight ahead and I'm patting and patting away and now I'm gonna go in and powder the whole under eye and I'm pushing okay guys I just picked up a little bit more and I'm lightly powdering I don't care to bake today this is supposed to be a quick makeup look even though we did all this with the eyes but you could definitely skip the eyes just curl your lashes put some mascara on do the rest of the face the same and you're good to go so now I'm just gonna go around the nose because right here I do get is where I get um, the most oils on the forehead and on the chin and now I'm gonna go in with my big powder brush pick up some more translucent powder and I'm gonna just set the rest of the face To make sure that my eyeliner stays smudge free, does not move, because sometimes you can. When you're smiling and you're laughing, you get sweaty around that area. Yes, people, you can get sweaty on your eyes. I've had it happen to me. Okay, so I'll go in with a flat shader brush, eye shader brush, and set right in that area. Okay. And this will help keep that eyeliner in place. All right. So I'm just bronzing, not contouring. I'm bronzing. The difference is with, with, when you're bronzing your face, you're, you're placing warmth on the areas where the sun would naturally kiss you. So I'm going to go all along the forehead on the cheeks and slightly along the jawline just to make everything a little even now I'm going to just dust the powder that was um, that I had ooh, ooh. under my eyes well that I had sitting for my eyeliner for my nose contour I'm going to use uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Uh, well, I'm going to use the shade Java and Havana. And I'm just going to do it very lightly. I'm not trying to overdo it with my nose contour if the rest of my face is pretty light. Okay, so I'm just going to pinch the tips of this blending brush. And focus it on the tip of my nose because that's where it is the most wide. Up here it's very narrow but it looks very flat. So we're trying to bring some definition in there. I'm going to go in with golden peach and I'm going to just place that down the center of my nose. Kill me now if you want to, but I'm just not a big fan of highlight. I, you know, if it, I have it, I have it. If I don't, you know, I just, I just don't really care for it. Um, so um, instead I like to use blush with a little bit of shimmer in it. So the blush that I'm using today is by NYX and it's in the shade Strictly Chic. It's the blush that I majority, majority of the time 
what is wrong? It's six o'clock in the morning, I haven't had my coffee. That's what's wrong. Okay. This is the blush that I use the majority of the time. There you go. We got it now, guys. We got it. Just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and working my way up. This placement is not good for everyone, just so y'all know that. But I like to accentuate the apples of my cheeks. I like the apples of my cheeks. Then if I am feeling fancy and I want to highlight anyway, I am going to go in with Just a Wisp. And it's a mineral blush by MAC. This is the shade. And generally, you want to put your, your highlight before your blush. So it's the highlight, blush, and then contour, or bronzer. But I just do it however the hell. Um, como me de la p que gana. Okay, maybe that should not be cursed. It's too early in the morning. Como me da la p oh, Okay, no. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, to soften that up a little bit more, I'm going back in with my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer because it does look a little bit too, it can look a little bit too um, ashy for my skin tone. So this just warms up, warms it up a bit. Now we can put mascara. When it comes to lipstick, I avoid it as much as possible I don't like wearing lipstick so instead guess what I use Aquaphor yeah. that's it just Aquaphor that's all I use it's funny because I have people that tell me oh I want that gloss that you have on your lips and I'm like ah it's not a gloss it's Aquaphor so I'm gonna get in close for you guys so you guys can really see. So now you can see what I'm talking about in the under eye area. We all have them. The light can, especially sitting from back there, the light can really diffuse those wrinkles. But we all got them. We gotta live with them. And um, the only thing I can tell you guys to help prevent them from looking worse is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Use an under eye cream day and night, okay? So that is it.